the crap they know 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 the cr
not to have it on right now but i do have my air purifier it's running trust me it is running it's right there running <laughs> but uh and uh what, what else did i want to say and make sure that you all knew of um like you've seen me stir this resin okay you want to make sure that the resin is nicely blended that you do not see any streaks okay you don't want to see no streaks left in your resin and this is a uh not so good of a cup to be showing you out of but um i've got to clean some of my other containers they have resin in them already and i just didn't clean them so um yeah this resin y'all i it's this epoxy resin crafters epoxy resin it is pretty good um i like it i like it it's perfect for crafting barring table uh tabletop coatings and casting jewelry and creations and casting art piece projects okay like i said it is a one-to-one -one ratio um i have to see what the work time is you're supposed to stir it up for around three to five minutes okay and I know that I've probably been running my mouth for about three or five minutes. Um, and let's see what else I wanted to tell you. Um, because I, I really want to let everybody know, you know, for the ones that are new to resin or new with um, to my channel, I'd like for you all to know that um, this stuff is very important. Uh, this resin, what I'm using now, it does not have like a scent to it. You know, some of them, some of them are so overpowering that you just, you, you can't catch a breath. But this one, however, um, it don't have, and I know I got a cold, <laughs> but I don't smell anything um, I can smell really good, so, um, yeah, I can smell really good, so I don't smell anything, I don't know whether it's the air purifier doing its job, or, or what, but, yeah, I might as well just go ahead and fill these up a little bit more, um, anyway when i done this i was you know i was unsure of how it should have been done and um with this mold here and i was like okay well maybe um it's supposed to be filled all the way but it wasn't it wasn't supposed to be filled all the way Just trying to uh, and I hope I clean this mold good from the pink all the pink stuff y'all I know I, my voice is so horrible right now I know I know but I can't help it I can't help it right now I think what I'm gonna do is keep pouring in this little uh, graduated measuring cup because I don't want to make the mistake again and overfill the mold. Learn from your mistakes, guys. If I can pour right here, I... I'm so scared. My head is shaking. Okay, I better wait a minute. <laughs> yeah um when i have these videos like this i like to tell people what they should know about it about the resin about when i make my mistakes about uh what i go through 
um, because I'm making the video. So I should be able to let you guys know, you know, about the mistakes or what you should look out for when you're uh, doing this. Let's wipe this off a little bit. It's almost filled to the rim, but not quite. And I don't wanna go overboard, I really don't. Cause that's what happened the last time. I went overboard. I went so overboard the thing was falling all out everywhere. Um, I want to start using my heat gun because the torch is no good for your moles. It really isn't. Try to do something quick, just a little quick, quick torch. And hopefully I won't mess anything up. looks nice okay I'm gonna sit this I've got so much stuff everywhere I'm gonna sit it there because I need to take some of my of these little balls here and uh, put them on the inside but and another thing I've noticed I had to take away some of my um, some of these little balls out because uh, when I was doing that because I noticed that uh, some of them were a little big and then I noticed that they were floating and I said okay wait a minute wait a minute just hold it hold up I was I had to try to figure something else out I had to keep trying to push them down push them down and I'm telling you guys oh I just had a time. I did. I had a time with it. such pretty glitter. I think that's all I'm going to use. Let me get another stick for a little bit more of in here. Isn't that beautiful? That is so gorgeous. That is so gorgeous.
and that's by Let's Resin. Let's, let, yeah, Let's Resin. Uh, the Mixology Glitter. This is the pink opal. That is amazingly beautiful. And what I'm gonna do is go just like that. And the same thing here. You can barely see them, but they're they're kind of cute. They're kind of cute little beads. And if I just add just a, the slightest little bit, I don't know whether that was a good choice or not. Hmm. Well, I've added it in that one. Oh, no, I don't think oh, I'm gonna have to. I just barely got them going in here, y'all. I'll have everything linked in my description. Um, and if you guys uh, will or can or whatever, try to... Um, check the crafters epoxy resin out um, everything looks pretty good with it so far you know you don't have to wait forever for it to cure either see I wasn't sure about these beads I sure am adding them everywhere <laughs> it's okay Hopefully they'll show up. I don't know whether they will or not, but I tried them. And we'll see if they show up. I'll have those linked as well. Um, now I'm thinking those beads look really good. Gosh, this is a whole lot of resin to be wasting. Oh, it's so hot. Mm. It is so hot. Let's see. Because I, I can't waste no resin. I can't. Donations are awesome, but I can't waste a donation. Remember when I said I had the um this mold here with the mountains? I'm just gonna pour it in. And maybe. Oh gracious, this almost filled this part up. I can't waste it, y'all. I'm sorry, but I, I just can't. I cannot waste any resin. This stuff is too expensive. And I want everyone to know that gives me a donation that I truly appreciates it. And uh, yeah, I'm not wasting it. <laughs> Sorry that I didn't go ahead and do like this nice little thing, but the resin was getting really hot. Should I add some of this in there? Oh, gosh. I'm gonna regret it when I uh, take it out. Yeah, I'm just gonna let it spread just like that. Let it spread. And I think what I wanna do is, gosh, this, this glitter is so pretty. Okay. 
is that glitter is so pretty what i'm gonna do is just do like this just to stir it around at least it's in the mold now and it'll do whatever it wants to do but i had to get it from out of that cup because that cup was really hot it was really starting to get hot and you know what the next stage would be you would not have no resin to use because it would be a hot mess is what you would have I'm telling you, let's resin need to make a big bottle, big bottles of that uh, glitter. It's awesome. I like it. I really, really, really like it. Okay. Now that I've got that done, I'm not gonna worry. And this mold here was probably too um, too thick for this resin, but I like to take chances and try things, just in case you didn't know. Wipe that stick off because it is reusable. is reusable okay um so guys i'm gonna be back um oh i said i was gonna do a little flower gosh why didn't y'all remind me i'm not gonna do the little flower <laughs> sorry i'm sorry i'm not gonna do the flower um i think that'll be just fine the way it is um it has a little bit of, uh, uh, I'm sorry, gracious. It's a little simple, yet elegant, but it all works. It works for me. I gotta do this, although it was not a single bubble in, in sight, <laughs> but I stirred around in there quite a bit. And I still don't see any bubbles over here. And I will be back, you guys. Help me get to that 4,000 watch time hours and those 1,000 subscribers. I need that. Thank you. Okay, I am back. And now I'm going to add my top coat to these coasters. So, I hope you all are enjoying the video. I sound a lot better, don't I? <laughs> Not really. But um, I stirred this quite rapidly, so y'all never mind the bubbles. I went in like it was just no tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know why I done it so fastly. Um, oh gosh. I'm wondering, do I need to make some more resin? Oh gosh, I think so. I think I'm gonna have to make some more. If it all goes through those little areas good, then I won't have to make any, but if not, then I will definitely have to make some. see what's gonna happen here um, those two are definitely full um, this one isn't quite as full I'm just trying to get it to go over into the little nooks and crannies um, Oh gosh, uh oh, I hope I didn't press too hard. Let's get rid of this right here, this uh, 
this big uh, silicone stick. And you guys, you know, just take and wipe your stick off with a wipe and it will definitely um, clean it and you won't have to worry about it for the next time. Let me push this over. I'm looking. I think I need to get a smaller stick. So that I can make sure that, um, gosh, this stuff is in my way. See, I bought this table because um, I wanted to, oh gosh, y'all, something's not right. Hmm. I'm going to leave it. I can't, I can't mess with it. Like. I can't tell if it's all the way um, over the entire coaster. I hope, I hope so. I waited uh, about, hmm, probably about a good hour before I came back out here and did my top coat. So let me get my lighter. Move that over for a second. Like all those bubbles just disappear. If I done this for a second time and it's, it's not right, I need to um, stop doing resin for a second. I think all of it is good. Uh, now on this right here, let me see. I want to make the bottom like a dark color. And the reason I want to make it a dark color is so that um, the glitter will reflect better. You know, when you have a dark color on the bottom, it's always a better end result. Add just a touch more in this one. Okay. I got it good enough. I should do something just totally off the wall. Just just totally not the ordinary thing that you would do. What about something pastel? I bought some Let's Resin pastel colors. I love jade green. Although this is like the champagne gold it was it will still look good with this um let's resin jade green okay i got it mixed and this is what it looks like you can see that okay so i don't think i have enough um resin mixed already so i'm just gonna try to see uh, if it's gonna make it or not. Oh, I see something there. Okay. So it made it, but I still need more to fill it up completely now why does this one look like it's uh mm. see this this is this right here is why you don't do separate mixes because you don't i didn't even count it from one 
and two i just let it just drop on in there like it didn't matter but this is what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna take it and make sure that i go around everywhere and like it has almost the same color y'all this mold right here is whoo gosh that was a lot of resin i'm not putting no more in here mm -mm. no no that's too much for this project no i can't do that i can't i can't i can't uh-uh no sir I love the videos and I like doing stuff and see if this stuff was for sale or something, then I would be like, okay, well, you know, do it the right way or whatever. But this is not for no sale. This is just for me. Um, unless when, whenever I finally do a live, you know, if somebody wanted or something like that, then yeah, um, it, it can, it can be like that, but no, not for just me playing around. Gosh, I can't do that. That's a lot of resin. And if you are a beginner resiner, you know, and you're not selling your pieces or you, you're not making profit off of them or anything like that, I don't suggest you buy that mold. Cause that's, that's, that's a lot. But I can't wait to see the outcome. I know it's going to be beautiful. I just know. I hope I'll be able to figure out how to get those end pieces in there. Because I'm not sure. Okay, I am back, Crafty Creators. It is time for the demold. My voice, yes, I know. It's the next morning. Um, around 941 <laughs> but I am going to demold this stuff and hopefully it'll turn out okay um, I see uh, like some little streaks or something that's in this uh, this coaster mold but we're going to try it and see what happens now um i'll move this over and i guess i'll start with the coaster molds very easy to uh take away out of this mold okay that's nice um i do see um you remember I was saying I was uh, staring like a mad woman <laughs> and I really kind of got from out of my shop because I had to go and cook and stuff so I didn't watch this after I turned it off I did another um, torch and that was it um, so they came out fine um, I do see like very, very small micro bubbles, but let's see. Can I get you a little closer? I don't know whether you can see them or not, but they're there. Um, they're almost invisible, but you see the little added little balls I put in there. I thought those were cute. This is the back. And of course, the front. Something there. I don't know what that is, but um, they're nice. I don't really have any complaints out of them. Um, besides, I do see like um, very, very almost invisible micro bubbles. I don't know whether you can see. I'll try to put my hand there and there you can see it there but um they still came out nice so 
they're very small I don't have any complaints out of them though um let me see yeah I could I could sit them out and do can on it but uh I'm I'm kind of I'm all right about it I don't have any problems with it and I know that um those little teeny micro bubbles I think they came from when I put the top coat on because as you can see oh gosh am I stuck to the mold oh come on give me a break okay as you can see this it doesn't have any bubbles that I can tell so let me slide this up I'm just curious to um, how I would place these inside of the holder. I'm very curious about that. Oh, come on, don't do this. Okay. Okay. Not hurt. All right. See how this is gonna turn out, y'all. And as I'm breaking this away, it's fairly easy to get off. Um, I hope I didn't mess anything up. I hope I don't tear this mold. I promised myself that I was gonna start using my heat gun instead of the torch. And I have it right here beside me. I just, I don't know. The torch is just so much easier to grab. Okay. I'm trying to get this out. It's not difficult. I just, tr I'm trying to make sure that I don't tear it. Okay, so this part is out. Okay. So I don't know how these supposed to fit in here like it's really no room to fit in there that's why I was curious about it the first time that I did it and these uh, it's like how, how do you do this you know um, I'm slow sometimes but there it is. Okay. So. All right. I was about to say. Now, wait a minute. Let me let me take that back out for a second. Let me see this. You still can't. Like you cannot insert that in there. It's just no room. It's not. The hole is not big enough. So I'm wondering, with the hole not being big enough, it's, it's just not. I think I'm gonna have to use some UV resin and place them up there. I'm gonna have to place, I'm gonna place, place those up there. Um, This is so awkward. Is it supposed to be like that? And then, oh. y'all, I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they, they are too thick. Let me see the other one for a second. Because I know that I shouldn't be doing this wrong. I gotta take my mic off for a second. Okay. 
Now, the other one I done. <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. I think I just keep messing up by the second. So, okay, on this one, those little things are like sticking up. So, was I supposed to... I, I couldn't have done that. There's no way. It wouldn't have anything to um, hold on to. So, that... They, they've got to be... They've got to fit in here like this. Some kind of way. I'm about to mess something up. Okay. That's just, I'll figure it out. The next mold I have was the, um, you remember the, the snow mountain? Okay, we're gonna see what this turned out to be like. That's cute. It's peeling really easily. Nice. Now this is nice. There's some stuff from the mold. You remember the day that I um was picking stuff off of it on the hall? Yeah, there was some stuff right there from the hall. But it's nice, um, different. Um, could go as a nice accent piece. Uh, I don't know what I would put in it. <laughs> I really don't. I'm um, trying to think right now, like, uh, what can I throw in here real quick? Um, the candles that I use are too big for this. And this is not completely flat. So, um, I don't know what I will put in here besides if you add jewelry or something in there. But the color, it ended up really nice. And I did step out of my comfort zone with, you know, a mountain this color. But I do like it a lot because Jade is my favorite. And. Um, I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty. A little bit of the um, glitter came up to the surface. I guess that was left over from this layer. But there are no bubbles in here. None whatsoever. I don't see any bubbles. I see a little something right there. Right there. But it's really nice. Um, this is a nice piece. It's very big. I like it a lot. I do. I do like that. But. Okay. I'm going to have to get prepared so I can put some... Um, UV resin on this to figure it out. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, y'all. It was a fight, but I got it. <laughs> it was a fight, but I got it. Let's see. Um, the it's this design isn't like a very good design. I'm talking about the, the mold itself. Um, I had to use the UV resin to put the, the legs on because they don't fit in the holes, okay? That's one, one thing. And two, these little coasters, you have to really push those things down in there and find the correct groove for it and I don't know it, it just puzzled me to why um, this was not made you know 
it wasn't made too well. It's like, uh, I don't know, I, I can't describe it, but um, you have to forcefully put these in here. And, you know, I don't like it. I don't like that at all. And now I have to um, let these sit out a while so that this resin can fully cure because these are, I guess it's heavy. Um, I don't know. I don't know, but it's cute. It is cute, but trust me, I don't know whether I would be wanting to do this again or not um, because I've already did it once and I did it wrong. I did it with the pink and it was totally wrong, but uh, I, I got so angry with this thing. I went back on Amazon and opened it up and you know just see like how they had it and on most of the pictures they didn't even have the bottom on okay and I'm assuming the bottom wasn't on because it doesn't fit up in the groove like it's supposed to so fair warning if you buy this mold it comes together if you buy this mold these are the end pieces that's supposed to fit here, but they do not. They they don't fit. You just have to stick them in place and just use your UV resin to hold them down. Okay? So, um, I don't, I, I don't, I really don't care for this mold because of that fact. And it's so tight for the coasters to fit down in it you would need to actually make these a little bit thinner and then it wouldn't be a struggle to get them in here but you know when you're making um, your pieces you want to feel it flush so that you won't have like a um, what do you call a thing so you won't have any type of lip okay I don't have a lip because I made sure that I filled it all the way to the top okay but it is thick to fit down in these little um these little slots here and maybe I'm supposed to just keep turning until I find the right uh, fitting for it but I did that and that was the correct fitting right there for this one same thing and you know I, I've got to hurry up and get this out of this mold because um, I need for it to fully cure before I put everything in there but I did want y'all to see you know how how it how it did um, the resin that I used is it's good I don't have any problems out of it um, and the uh, holder itself it did not have any bubbles whatsoever in it but the coaster the second time when I put the top coat on the coaster ended up having some like extremely micro bubbles they were very extreme almost invisible okay so that's because I was staring like a mad woman don't do that please um, on the mountain, no problems with the mountain at all. I used the same resin, okay? I used my um, pastel jade green from Let's Resin, and I used the um, the Let's Resin Mixology Champagne Gold in the Snow Mountain, and then I used the um, Pink Opal Mixology from Let's Resin. Um, glitter in that one and I use my little my little balls here my little pearls I think they're so cute I think I want to order some more and so that I can you know kind of fill up and get those now my only thing was I was wondering should I um, take in my silver metallic pen I was wondering should I go around 
and do the trimming but I think simple is better and sometimes you don't always have to you know take and do the uh, use the pen because see I want these to remain seen I want you to be able to see them through the sides through the front through the back and I like that so I'm not gonna use my pen but you guys um, I am really 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 working hard to get my 4,000 watch hours and my 1,000 subscribers so if you have friends um, family um, that would be interested in the making of different projects please let them know about my channel please share my channel with them so that they can um, check me out and um, we can get to be known around YouTube in the YouTube world because um, I really think that uh, I'm on a good start I'm on a good start and I'm going to remain on that start. Um, I just have to figure out when I want to do uh, what days I want to do my videos. Because if I feel like making a video, I just make a video. I don't have a set day. I don't have a set time. And maybe a set date and time would help, you know, um, so that people can look forward to it. Don't forget, turn your little notification bell on. At the bottom right there at, at the description right up under the video there's an arrow to the right um, or either you can matter of fact that's the description part when you hit your subscribe button you click it again and it'll have all click that all button so you can see every time I post a video and you can watch it and give me your input on it or give me a suggestion or you know just um, whatever you feel you know um i'm really trying so i hope to be at a thousand subscribers before the end of the year that's my goal i don't know how i'm gonna do it i need everybody's help but i'm trying to get a thousand subscribers by the end of the year and um the watch hours oh boy i know oh she whiz it's gonna take me a while so i just say thank you to all of you who are watching who are subscribed who do comment who do give me feedback um and let's see what else i wanted to say that's about it y'all i've kept y'all long enough i appreciate everybody and thank you to all my crafty creators y'all have a good day